So your underlying energy, y'all, is the Six of Pentacles. So this whole situation is about balance, is about, you know, making sure that you guys are getting and receiving what you need to be getting and receiving back. You know what I'm saying? If you guys have been putting a lot into your situation, a lot into your relationships to try to make it work, well, it's going to be a little bit off kilter you know what i mean so it may be that it's time for you to start receiving rather than giving so much in your relationships and for a lot of you guys this could be you know very the, the exact opposite you guys could be taking a lot from your relationships and not putting enough back so that dynamic so the dynamic in your relationship the give and take aspect in your relationship this balance that can get you guys to where you want to be the you know stability and everything like that may need to be reevaluated. Um, and the reason why the six of cups comes up is because of the 10 of wands. Yes. This t balancing thing is a burden. Okay. I think there was a lot of burdens in the past that probably weren't really properly handled, but there was a different way for you to handle it, a different way for a situation to play out. I feel like you guys may realize, um, but it's left the situation now to clean up in regards to some balance. Not a bad, not a bad combo. Nothing, nothing really too bad. You know what I'm saying? It is what it is, family. It is what it is. Now, for your current situation, y'all have the devil, okay? So yeah, some old habits are coming back up. Maybe codependency for some of you guys. For some of you guys, this could be just like you're not feeling that you are able to be as free as you can be. Maybe you guys feel a little bit trapped and kind of, you know, restricted from whatever you feel like you can do in your relationship. But that is the trick, right? The devil, you know, the devil says that you can't, you know, that looks like you can't do anything. He He's right next to you and he scares you and he kind of like tempts you into doing things or, you know, he's your addictions, right? Whatever you end up doing, right? It's because he really kind of influences addiction. But at the same time, though, he don't ever tell you you have to stay there. So it's all about choice. What it is, what is it that you're doing? Now, it's very similar to the Ten of Wands, right? Ten of Wands talks about, you know, hey, yeah, you have a lot of burdens, but this burden is something that you're willing to carry. Now, nothing that you need to blame yourself for at all. Don't do that because, you know, that's not going to get you anywhere. It's really about what you can do differently. How can you approach your situation in a different way so that way it's not so much burden, so much work on you, it's not a, a huge burden, and it can give you the balance that you're looking for in your relationship. So right now, your situation could be that right now that some, your partner is leeching off of you. They could be like letting you do everything because you're willing to do it, or or you're having a situation where you're not getting the balance that you need from your situation. Um, because of a lack of balance, right? There's not a good, there's not a good amount of give and take. And you feel like you're trapped in that situation. So you resort to old habits. So try, try right now to really look at your old habits and see why they're coming back up. And when you can look at why they come back up, you'll be able to figure out what you need to change about your situation, change about what you're doing, what your behavior. Um, again, nothing that it's, I'm not blaming you guys for the dynamic of your situation to kind of being all messed up. I know this, there is a, you know, it takes two to tango. We all have a responsibility in when it comes to relationships. So, uh, in order to manifest what you want, right? Law of attraction, like attracts like, you have to be what you want to come in. And that's why I'm pretty much trying to stress right now. It's not you. Don't worry about that. I'm not telling you guys, oh, you guys are doing this. Don't do that. No, 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 no. Be the what you want to be in a relationship so that way you can get it, okay? That is that is the best thing I can say. Not that you're doing anything wrong, but I mean, the devil card does suggest that these habits that you have, or that the, the situation that's going on, whatever you're doing, old habit wise is not helping your situation anyway so right now it's just you have to kind of really gauge what it is that you're doing so that way you can change that to bring in what you want so what your goal is this is the ten of swords you kind of want to recover from you know the worst right you think you want things to just completely end and just kind of be done with it i think honestly it's just kind of like a constant roller coaster of up and down up and down nothing's really ever balanced and stay there and i think that's kind of annoying at the end of the day and i completely get that right if you're having to go back to old ways of doing things, old ways of thinking and behaving, then hell no, you're not really interested in having the situation kind of continue on. But I think ultimately, I think you want something to end, the situation to end. Now, the relationship, for some of you guys, I don't think it's just saying that you have to end a relationship, but you want a certain particular situation in your relationship to just stop. So that way you could truly recover, right? You want the worst to just, you know, you want to get to the, you know, to the absolute ending of that. So that way you can recover. You can pick yourself up and move on and do something different. Um, and learn from the from that certain um, cycle, so that way you guys can really have a you know prosperous relationship. So I feel like that's what's going on with you guys, in, you know, in the situation. But what's keeping you from having this ten of swords is the seven of cups. It's not. 
is anything is not really being addressed as clearly as it should right now. I feel like for a lot of you guys, there's just a lot of, you know, there's a lot of like smoke and mirrors and stuff going on. Like there's some things that are just not being very clear, not really easy to see, not really easy to work with. There's a lot of fantasy going on. Um, fantasy in a sense that just like nothing is really, nothing around you seems very real by this time. Um, and it has a lot to do with uh, with how much you, you know this love that you have for this person, or this the love that you feel. The Queen of Cups is you guys, and I'm not again. I really don't understand. I feel like it's I feel like it's saying the reason why you're not able to end the situation is because that you guys are very much in love right now. You're you know it's almost blinding, um, and I feel like right now, guys, I'm just gonna put it straight with you guys. You know, maybe the situation right now could be better and it could be balanced out way better if you just looked at something from for what it's supposed to you know for what it really is what it truly is this person is not you know putting in the effort that they should in the relationship and it's not and it's not your fault for that right now you can change it you have to just kind of be more you know aware of that that they're not doing what they need to be doing they could be sweet and very romantic sometimes but don't let them sweep you off your fleet. Don't let them be like, oh, hey, baby, this is, you know, this is what it is. You know, I love you and all this and, you know, be all super romantic, but then don't do anything. So your heart, it could be in the right place, but it just, it may be that you have a lot of stuff going on that's kind of, you know, that's getting at, you know, getting this old stuff out, out of you. I feel like for a lot of you guys, it may be that the situation is just not very, it's just not very clear. It's not. It's not very honest at this time. I feel like you're dealing with a little, uh, not, maybe not a liar, but someone that can definitely duck and dodge the situation with a lot of, you know, glitz and glamour and smoke and mirrors and stuff like that. And it's the reason why I feel like either you guys is this because it could be because, you know, you guys just love them so deeply and you don't, you want to, you have the benefit of the doubt, which is, you know, cancers, you guys do do that, right? You guys have a lot of benefit of the doubt for people. And that's a lovely, lovely thing. You guys are healers. You guys want to believe the best and that there is the best of people but sometimes they may be trifling and you have to kind of see that for what it truly is and it may be difficult um to really see that especially when you love them so deeply for some of you guys this could be a pisces or cancer or scorpio and they could be manipulating the hell out of you right now okay you guys could be in a very manipulative situation that's what i'm saying yes y'all could be very you know could be going back to old habits because the situation is being manipulated and that's why you want this situation to be done so be very, very careful right now. Um, so that is either that you're not kind of like lost in your in lost in love, you know, letting them kind of get away with stuff because you know you don't really see you don't you don't want to see anything bad that's you know that's going on with them. You don't want to see that you know yeah the dynamic in the situation could be a lot better if they had just stopped doing whatever they need to be doing. But at the same time, the situation could be that they could be very manipulative. Okay, this this some this some manipulation here. That's what I'm getting. Now, for the best path to follow here, y'all have the Page of Swords. It's, it's really asking you guys to really see the situation clearly. Maybe, I mean, I don't want to be, you know, advocating spy work, you know, being sneaky and being underhanded. I feel like most importantly, it's time to speak your truth and to be absolutely honest, to be very clear and be very blunt about what it is that you feel, what it is that you believe. And that's what I'm really pushing that like you guys may be manipulated right now. You guys may have actually have a narcissist at here. Um, so be very careful with that right right now, okay? The dynamic of the situation is at risk because of a burden, and old habits are coming up for you to compensate for something that you know so, something that ain't balanced. No, that's somebody that's, that sounds like a manipulator, y'all. Y'all could be dealing with somebody that's manipulating, or you guys could be seeing the benefit of the doubt of somebody, and you really shouldn't be. Um, if some in small circumstances, cancer. This could be you guys that could be manipulating somebody, and that's the old habits because you guys want something. You just want some sort of situation to play out in the way that you want it to play out with the ten of swords in some way. It could be that, but I don't really know. I'm not really one hundred percent. You guys could be the person that's manipulating the situation. You guys could be manipulating and lying to yourselves in regards to how the situation is looking. But again, that's for a small part of you guys. So I'm not quite one hundred percent like on that. I feel like you guys are actually the ones being manipulated, or you guys are just you know you have a you have a lot of benefit of the doubt with this person, and you really probably should just see you know what's going on, you know what's happening, but you just don't want to believe that they're actually this toxic, <laughs> and and. and 
it's not toxic in a bad way. I feel like it's to bring out your integrity to, to really rebuild your boundaries right now because you do feel very vulnerable. You're very open emotionally. But it's, it, you can be this way to a certain extent. You still need boundaries here. So whatever it is, it, it's what this soulmate is trying to bring out of you right now, it's really all about what what do you stand for? What don't you stand for? What will you accept? What won't you accept? So this whole situation is looks looks very highly manipulated, and it's really talking about what what new what is your integrity right now? What do you what will you stand for? What will you like not stand for? So that's what else is going on, and I feel like that's why the page of swords there is to let that person know you're like you know what this is not working for me. This isn't this is panning out. Letting them you know speaking your truth letting that come out because if this is a relationship of equality then you can you should be able to speak your mind and be out uh, like be straight up you know communicate what's going on now for how you guys feel you guys have the ace of wands so y'all guys you guys feel very passionate about your situation you guys are ready to start something new and really begin something fresh i feel like you guys in your hearts you guys want to start um expressing yourself and being more creative in your relationship and bringing some some excitement back into your life um i feel like you guys are like it's you get, that's a really antsy energy here i feel because right now it's like all about this dynamic and this balance is off but you guys want something exciting you guys want something to really happen and your hopes and fears you guys have the seven of pentacles but you don't know if it's worth it you don't know if this relationship is worth the, the amount of trouble that you have to put into it that's why i think the tennis was there i don't like i said before i don't know if you guys want to actually break up with the person but i do know that there is a situation y'all want done like you don't want to deal with this situation anymore you, you had it you had it up to here so yeah, you're not sure if this situation is something you can commit to completely. You're having to really reevaluate your situation and really think about what it is that this relationship is requiring out of you and if you are willing to do that. Now, your outcome, you have the Page of Cups. So this is talking about emotion, op emotional openness, communicating your emotions and being expressive about how you feel um, and understanding and knowing what your heart's desire is. Um, for a lot of you guys, the situation here is that there could be a balance issue as well. Um, old patterns could be coming up right now and you want something to, situation to end, but you're not really making a decision because there's some sort of decision making that needs to be had here. But I feel like this, it, it's because of your heart's desire, right? You don't, I, don't, I don't think you know what you want out of the end of the day. For some of you, there's another circumstance, there's another story I'm seeing here, like, the situation is like totally imbalanced and not working out and it's totally just kind of like if that's why you want things to kind of just be like i'm done with it we're, we, we, we're gonna wrap this stuff up but you don't know what you want yet um and i feel like it's because and it's because you don't know what your heart's desire is the queen of cups she knows what's in her cup already but it's about making the decision out of the cups that's already presented to you that's causing a lot of you know disruption and hard you know decision making all right pay attention to the red flags y'all okay the signs are cautioning you so yes the signs are cautioning you You guys could very well have somebody that is a manipulator around you right now so be very careful about that but also if there's some red flags well, red flags don't have to be bad flags either right red flags could be like holy smokes there's something that's like trying to get your attention to fix something to really actually get you to where you want to be so it's main so red flags don't mean like oh my god be very careful and watch out for that person and their certain behaviors because they could be a bad thing yeah not necessarily it could be that maybe there's something that you need to look out for because it could lead you to where you want to be let me go ahead and pull you guys your wisdom of the oracle card for the week go the distance so remain strong and stay determined to handle your business okay um it's one difficult situation no doubt but it's something that you may want that you're going to be able to get through you're going to be able to push through but you have to remember that you do have the strength and the stamina to get you through the situation so look out for the red flags y'all okay because you guys can't get what you want now you guys can do this it's just not I'm not saying this is easy but you guys, you guys may have to hold on a moment to really see things for truly what they truly, are, you know, what they truly are. That's why the seven of swords, is, seven of cups is here actually, because yes, it may be smokes and smokes and mirrors. You may have a lot of benefit of the doubt with your lover. Of course, this is your partner. You don't want to believe that their part, your partner is being being trifling. But just because they are, you know, just because they are being trifling doesn't mean you can't fix that. 
the dynamic of the situation needs to be corrected so things to be right right so it needs to be addressed so if you need to address the situation you can address it so right now really look through and see the see all the cards for what they truly are see the person for who they are if they're manipulative then it you know you know what you need to do you know what you want you know you know what you have to do but if you're having to resort back to old ways of behaving you have to look at the situation and why look at yourself why what options are you being given right now that it makes you feel like you have to go back to old ways of doing stuff that truly never really worked for you out worked out for you in the first place